welcome to The Hub. Uh, this is Juxta's first uh, pilot store that we're using to test uh, this micro retail concept. So what this is, this is a, it's a portable, autonomous, mini retail store that allows retail customers to basically put this store on the back of a truck, move this to any location they could ever dream of, set it down and begin trading in a completely labor-free and low-risk way. We've designed it to work in the simplest way possible. You tap your credit card, you enter the store, you shop around and you take whatever you want and then you leave. There's also an option to review the items that you've taken. The artificial intelligence in the store detects who you are and what you've taken and then displays it on this checkout screen when you come near it. It's really just kind of like a high-tech vending machine that you can walk inside. The way that we've designed this test store is basically to reflect what you'd get at a typical convenience store, right? So you've got cold drinks, snacks, food to take home, but the technology in the store ultimately allows retailers to stock whatever they want. I'm very excited about Launchpad and what Launchpad means for Vontier. Launchpad is a program aimed at identifying, nurturing, and accelerating new business ventures. This program kicked off in 2021, and since we've been able to look at six different new business venture opportunities. Juxta is one of those six, and a terrific example of the Launchpad process. First, it starts with a very strong team. And I think we've got that with Juxta. Second, that team then goes to find high value customer problems worth solving. And these problems need to be on point for Vontier's connected mobility strategy. They then look to identify the right solution sets to solve those problems and then put a business model together to ultimately bring this to market. Juxta fits uh, squarely in the center of our mobility strategies, going across both our convenience, retail, car wash, and environmental solutions business. It really captures on some of the great growth drivers we're seeing within those industries around labor scarcity, changing consumer behaviors, as well as digital payments. And for those of our customers that are on the energy transition, it gives them a great opportunity to interact with consumers as they wait for their vehicles to charge. As we've seen through Juxta's last nine months, they've identified high value problems that are on point with our strategy and have a strong solution set and business model to win. So we are incredibly excited for Juxta now to accelerate on this innovative idea. When you look at what we've done here with Juxta, we've combined technologies from across Vontier to pursue a really interesting space. Within our operating companies, we've been building retail technologies for over 50 years. And we believe we have a strong right to play in autonomous micro retail. And most importantly, we believe we have a winning strategy and team. There are several exciting use cases for Juxta. You start with a fuel only site where you can't have a traditional convenience store. Satellite stores uh, that help retailers get closer to their consumers than the traditional format does. The expansion of EV charging, now potentially with core amenities. But also interestingly, uh, seasonal locations, beaches, resort towns, because the hub is designed to be portable. And every time we talk to our customers, we hear of new use cases that excite the heck out of us. So we've got a really exciting couple of years ahead. This year in July, we are planning to launch Juxta in the North America convenience retail market. Uh, and alongside that, we're running four pilots with North American retailers, which will really allow us to test our commercial and our operational assumptions out in the market. Next year, we're planning to launch in Europe, and we're also planning to launch a Juxta Hub offering for the EV market. And then longer term, when we look beyond that, we're planning to move into bricks and mortar in the US, in Europe, and beyond. So if you find yourself this year in Greensboro, Texas, Colorado, Georgia, or New Mexico, go find the hub and step inside and let us know what you think. What's your go-to snack to fuel exciting new ideas like this one? Oh man, my, my go-to snack is always sugar-free Red Bull and, and white Tic Tacs. That's, that's my go-to every morning. Uh, so I'm probably a bit healthier than Steve in that I like an oatmeal bar and a nice healthy 
bottle of smoothie. So my go-to snack would be a vitamin water and maybe, uh, I really like those Miss Vicky's jalapeno chips. <laughs>